looks good, everybody. Today I'm going to be ranking a uh, Series 1 Lego minifigures from worst to best. Now you guys might have different opinions, um, but this is just my personal opinion. Um, so you might not agree or you might agree, but whatever, let's just get under the ranking, shall we? Anyway, for the last place, I'm just going to have to go with the scuba diver. I just find him to be completely useless as we get a bunch of scuba divers in Lego City sets and just other type of sets. So I don't really see the use for this guy because if we're going to make a scuba diver, so I really this, so you know what I mean? Next up is the Spaceman. Now, this one, um, it, gets a, it gets a foot higher than... Uh, the scuba diver for having one or two interesting pieces. It has, of course, a lightsaber, um, a blade, and that last one, too. But other than that, everything else is just pretty mediocre. Next up, I have the cowboy. Now, this guy's just a bit more interesting in case you want to go the cowboy collection. The spaceman, um, can't really do that unless they're, I don't know, building like a, a small little, uh, I don't know. But this one, um, has more interesting pieces to me, um, despite being not really that useful, you know what I'm saying? Next up on the list is Robin Hood. Uh, this main figure, um, um, it is pretty much like right in the middle, although I, I just think his pieces are more interesting, that's why it gets, um, above the cowboy, and, um, just, uh, even though it's tempting a little bit weak, I guess, but I do like its pieces, despite not being very useful. Next up is a zombie gun. This minifigure might not be useful for me, but might be useful for people who are trying to go to the zombie army. And I can appreciate that, you know, I can respect that. Um, it's got a nice, uh, uh, chicken, chicken leg. Um, I've had that piece before with, uh, the, the hut, um, uh, the Wampa Cave. Um, so it's not a new piece, but other than that, mostly almost everything is new except for the materials. I do like that shell though. Next up, we got the Trial Hunter. Now, this is one of the more unique minifigs um, of this series, and that's why he's, um, you know, higher on the list despite not having that much use for him. He's still pretty cool. But we even got like a female version of him, uh, you know, in 2000 and uh, something. I'm not sure exactly sure. Um, here's a better look at him. There we go. And um, on to the next one. Next up is the skateboarder. Now, I don't think this minifigure has ever been gotten like a, a redo or whatever, but um, despite that, um, even though the hair piece is coming, I like it, and I love that um, new um, exclusive print on the torso. And I do like the skateboard, despite getting the skateboard tons of other times, but he's a pretty solid minifigure. He's, I guess, okay, but he's not bad at all, you know, he's pretty... Um, neat and decent minifigure. Next up is a ninja, and yes, that's just what it is. And um, you guys might be thinking, why well, I see you behind? Well, this is basically just a rehash of what we get from Ninjago. But in my opinion, he's better than the Ninjago minifix, because number one, I'm not a fan of the Ninjago theme. I used to be, and I know he's nice. I think that's crazy, but it's just an unpopular opinion. Me. And second of all, he's just more of a simple, yet, um, Effective minifigure, you know, he's very useful for people and um, he does, he, he's not extremely over the top with printing like most of the Jago minifigures are, you know what I mean? And he's just an overall better minifigure than those other ones, in my opinion. Next up is the robot minifigure. Now, um, this guy even works really well when you're not even like a, when you're not even like a, you know, just, uh, like with yellow minifigures. See, this guy even works with non yellow minifigures. And that's why he works very good. And in case you want to do like a different style of robot, this guy's pretty useful for that. And his design is just really good with that new printed arm on the side and just almost everything. Except we have Nacho Uribe, not really much Nacho Uribe because this guy actually definitely looks like he works out more than actual Nacho Uribe played by Jack Black. Now this guy, um, I do love everything about his printing and everything. It's all very unique. Um, unfortunately they remade him in the Lego movie, one of the Lego sets, but I think this one is better than that one, mainly because of nostalgia, I guess, but still. Next up is the Magician. Now this guy is very unique, one of the more recognizable minifigures from Minifigure Series 1, and I can totally agree because almost every part of him is unique and useful just to this minifigure. Um, with that nice, with the best part for me personally being Tuxedo, 
and his accessory. I do like that hat and his face, so even though they're not that um, much useful, they're still pretty cool. Next up is the caveman, which is another minifigure that they gender swapped and layered down um, the minifigure series uh, line. Um, now this guy, um, despite him not being that useful, I have seen people do some interesting stuff with him. I do like his prints despite being no print on the side or on the, bit on the back. So that's a little bit off, but other than that, I do like his hair piece. That's very useful in case you want to do like a homeless guy or a castaway minifigure Tom Hanks, you know what I mean? And um, even Michael Hickox made a very cool video um, with this minifigure like being the main star, so that's pretty useful. Next up is the nurse. Now it's starting that this is the only other minifig other than another than the cheerleader. Um, that's a female minifigure, which is a bit odd in my opinion, but um, I'm not complaining. Um, this is pretty good in case you want to do like some sort of a hospital thing. And um, I do like the printing. It's very simple, but it's still pretty cool. I like that hair piece despite it being very common. And I think that one thing, on uh, that one gray thing in her hand is just unique, just as minifigure. It's a, um, a needle. It's a needle. That's what it is. Excuse me. Next up is the clown, another extremely recognizable character from this minifigure series. Um, I don't know how much he is, he must go for a lot because I think that trumpet is just unique to him. I like his afro and red, there's like printing on everywhere on him. Next up is the crash dummy, um, another recognizable minifigure from uh, this series one um, with a bunch of unique printing just to him. I think he even made a cameo in the Lego movie, but despite that, um, that uh, PA 770 uh, is pretty good. Um, I do like that. Um, I do like all that stuff on his on his body, um, whatever it is. But so really cool. Now I'm sorry I couldn't come up with a better choice than number one, but I might sound like a bit of a weirdo for this. But number one just has to go to the pom pom girl. Or should I say the cheerleader? Um, I just couldn't. I'm sorry. I just couldn't think of a much better minifigure than this one personally. I don't know. I just find this one to be very unique and a very recognizable one from the series. Um, um, great printing all around. I'm not sure if this printing on the back, but whatever. Um, that uh, that hair piece is very golden. I really like it. It's, it's actually blonde. I really love what. It's still cool. Um, I love those pom poms. They're very useful. Very awesome in case you want to do like some sort of like a cheerleader on me. Not really an on me, but you know what I mean. Just um, like the hair piece. Really awesome. And yeah, just like one of the most recognizable. Uh, many figures from the series, if not the most recognizable. But overall, that's just my personal opinion. But overall, that's just my personal opinion. Let me know your ranking down in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you think my ranking sucks or whatever? Do you even like this many figure series in general, or do you think there's a better one out there? Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next uh, ranking video. Bye.